Hey guys, Brian here with Wolf's Prairie Outdoors. I apologize if you hear a dog barking. There's one out in the woods going nuts. <laughs> um, today we are shooting a 375 SOCOM. We're using a 375 SOCOM upper from SBR Ammunition. We also have some SBR Ammunition 375 SOCOM ammo. This particular loading is a 185 grain controlled fracturing round from Lehigh Defense. I've shot some of their controlled fracturing rounds before. They always do a great job, so I'm really excited to see what this does. For those of you that don't know about 375 SOCOM, its parent case is a 458 SOCOM, and the way they develop this is they neck the case down a little bit. It gives you a hard-hitting round that fits an AR-15 platform just like a 458 SOCOM, but it gives you a higher velocity and a longer range than a 458 SOCOM. So you get a bit more reach out of this, but you still got a really hard-hitting caliber. So I think it's a good compromise, and really really excited to see what this does on the water and the meat i forgot to mention we're doing another one of our practical hunting ballistics videos for you guys today so we'll be doing three rounds of accuracy testing at 50 yards then we'll do water jugs and then we got a boston button it's around six and a half pounds enough yakking let's get to it all right guys eyes and ears we're loaded up we got three rounds of this 185 grain controlled fracturing ammo from sbr we're going to be at 50 yards doing our accuracy test let's see what happens bullseye Tell you guys, I love this flat trigger from CMC Triggers. Two stage, it's just super crisp, awesome reset. Can't get enough of this thing. The problem is, it's an addiction. Now I want one on all my ARs. It gets expensive. Just a hair higher. All right, looks pretty good. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, we are looking at center to center about seven eighths of an inch. So accuracy wise, that's way better than the 458 SOCOM we shot last week. If you look up here in the upper left hand corner, good stuff. Let's check it out on some water. All right, we got some good accuracy out of that ammo. Really liking the way that looks. Uh, next up, let's hit some water jugs. That was pretty gnarly. Let's go check that out. All right, guys, first jug is right here, about uh, 10 feet from the table. Second jug is over here on the ground. Hey, look at here. We caught part, part of, of the jacket, or part of the bullet, it's solid copper bullet. So there's a piece that was in number two. Number three, it completely just blew apart. And there's no, no nothing in there. We'll lose that jug. Nothing, Nothing in there. Okay. Not a thing. Five. Complete pass through. Nothing in there. <clears throat> Six. Nothing. Nothing went into seven, so nope. we've got to have a slug in six. There it is. We only captured. One of those pieces of uh, copper right here that flaked off the yeah others must have took off out the side of that yeah they must have peeled off and went out uh, one and two and possibly three and there's our slug all right so we have one shard that peeled off and as you can see a bunch of them came off probably five or six shards like that so Hog, deer, anything like that. Uh, yeah, I'd say even black bear. That's going to be a seriously wicked round on them. Looks There's like one. Dad just found another piece over there. No, that's off another round from prior. Oh, okay. Yep. Lead down on the range. You're going to have that. Or copper, I should say. Is. Ah, he did find a piece. Yep, there's one. All right. So, as you can see, these are pretty uniform when they peel off. So, you're going to get uh, five to six of those. Looks like uh, one, two, three... I think six. Uh, six of those are going to peel off and do some seriously nasty damage. And then you've got that massive slug trucking on through. We got six jugs of penetration, so really, really good. Yeah. yeah, so we got about eight inches of penetration before it really opened up. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to get in the middle of that hog and just blow them apart. Speaking of hog, let's set up a Boston button and get to it. Do it. All right, guys, eyes and ears, very important. Don't forget that. Had some great results on the water jugs. Let's see what it does to this Boston butt. I'm going to try to hit where the bone is. And uh, let's see what happens.
Whew. Fell off the front. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, it fell off on the ground, as you can see. Let's, uh, let's check that bad boy out. We got some meat on the table. Small hole there in the wrapper. Yep, small entrance wound, Very just like the small. 458 we did before. Way smaller than the bullet. It yeah. Ripped through and that skin just kind of flexed out. The back side, on the other hand, is a different story. Oh yeah, it did a good rip right there. Did wow. Not, did not catch the bone. I just missed it. But look yeah. at that. That's a, a good sized lemon. That made a, a massive hole in there. Oh yeah. And actually, if you look at the table, we caught one of the shards of copper that ripped off. We sure did. There and one tore out right here. So that definitely did some expansion Oh yeah. when it hit that meat, no doubt. And that was like way back here. Yeah. But if it was more material here, it would have flared out. Yeah, they would have gone all over. Or what, however they're gonna go based on what design there was left when it ripped up. <laughs> yeah. All right, as you guys can see, 375 SOCOM is definitely, I think, an underrated round. This did a phenomenal job on penetration and meat, but you don't hear many people talk about it. It just doesn't get a lot of attention, and I think that's uh, that's a shame because it looks like it's a really good cartridge. It looks very way. accurate, and I now I really want to test this thing at range. Uh, we'll, we've got a, up to a 220-yard range. We'll end up stretching it out and see what we can get out of it. I think it's going to be a really good cartridge. Yeah. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this installment to our Practical Hunting Ballistics series. Uh, we're trying to build a database here. I think we're, we're got a few videos up now. We're doing a pretty good job, I hope. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, give us a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and check back often. we got a lot coming, don't we? Yep. See you next time. Have a good one, guys.